Hi there. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Valerie D'Ambrosio and I am the connection coach as well as a yoga teacher. I lead retreats to India every year and we're about to offer our 11th one in November 2015. And I want you to know that this is, out of all the retreats that I've done in my life, this is one of the most spectacular retreats and hence the reason why I continue to do it over and over again. It's because India, especially where we go, Rishikesh, is so so magical. A lot of people ask me why Rishikesh, why India? And so the history of it is that I actually had no desire to go. And then my teacher, Garmuk, at the time years ago, she was going and she was leading a retreat there. So I went with her and we went to a few different places. But then when we landed in Rishikesh, something inside of me shifted, something inside of me changed. So this area is at the Ganga River, the base of the Himalayas. And it is actually famous from the Beatles who went to study with Maharishi and um, on, in this town you there's no alcohol and there's no meat so the vibrational tone of the town itself is pretty high and truthfully in the many years that I've gone I have never experienced any violence um, I you rarely do you hear anger or children screaming it's just it's just different there and the magic in India is that um, what's so it's a paradox it's this beautiful paradox yes it's it's dirty it's messy messy there's cows in the streets and cow poop and there's loud noises and lots of people and simultaneously there's so much heart, there's so much beauty, and people really do greet you, palm meeting palm, right in front of their heart, saying namaste, because people are living from their spirit, and so when you drop away, I am a true believer of immersions, and when you, you drop away from your everyday life, from your to-do list, from your the masks that we wear, from your identity of your, of your job, and you drop yourself into a place like India, where you can work on you, the shift that occurs is, it's phenomenal. I have watched many people experience such change in their lives and such gratitude for that change. And so when people ask me, you know, I want to go to India, what should I do? And my, my view of that is that because it's a third world country, because it is so different and they're already, it's a sensory overload there, right? So there's already so much that just go with somebody that you feel, you feel held, you feel safe. And um, that's what I like to think that I experience. I, I, I leave for people as an experience. So um, how I do that is that years ago when I went, I befriended a family, the Agarwal family, and they took me in. And I, I am one of their family members now, and they opened up a hotel, so that's where we stay. And so the food is wonderful, the accommodations are wonderful, the service is fantastic. And the reason why I call this experience India is it's more than just a yoga retreat. Yes, we do yoga every day, but we also contemplate the gods and goddesses. We have um, ceremony on the Arti on the Ganga River. We experience uh, cooking lessons with my Didi, my Indian sister. We go, we do uh, two different pilgrimages to different temples, and we also have children from the school that my family created. They come and visit us. So, um, and there's many more things, and it is just so wonderful. So, if you're considering, if you've been thinking about it, reach out, shoot me an email, Valerie at ValerieDiambrosio.com. Ask me any questions. I would love to support you in this. Again, if you're looking for that big change in your life to shift your life up, this is what I say is that India breaks you down so you can build yourself back up. And what I mean by break you down is it breaks down all of the layers and the things that are potentially holding you back from experiencing your life living really from your truth and your authentic self. So I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you can join November 9th to 19th, 2015. And I look forward to it.